Now, many uh, may not have even dared dream that dream, but when it comes to Munster, miracles do happen, especially in Thomas Park. It's okay. Jerry it's okay. Flannery Receiver. with the throw goes towards the tail and finds Leamy. Well, Munster try to sort this mall out. Flannery is the recipient. Stringer is the navigator. O'Connell comes in to add his weight. They peel it around, trying to change the focus of their efforts. It's working. They're driving towards the line. Munster inch ever closer. Sail not able for it. Munster have scored. I just listened to that crowd. What about that? Anthony Foley is the man that's been credited with it. Pats on the back for all his teammates. And this was Munster at their best. And they took the ball at the back of the line out. And once it was set, you could see Shabal had tried to get in. He falls out of the... Once it was set, there was nowhere else they were going except over the line. Great, great score. Shabal. Little chip and chase. He's done that remarkably well into the Munster 22. He will not give up this game. Martens is there. Severelli got to be Marshall, got the pass away, but Quedo couldn't handle it. And the referee is pulling it back for another infringement again off the ball stuff. But this is just incredible skill by someone who has not been associated with that. I think it probably took everyone by surprise, including his own players. Brilliant by Cheval. Normally brute force, that's a touch of class. Hodgson lines up the penalty kick. He's got it, the flags go up. And Sale take back three that they gave away. Flannery with the throw, O'Connell the target, down to Stringer, perfect, O'Gara. Murphy looking to offload Wallace, David Wallace. Got some forward momentum, Stringer picks out the pass, it's Halstead. He's really grown in confidence in the last two weeks. Munster continue to put their bodies on the line, Sale continue to try and make the tackles around the fringes. Stringer can see it, O'Gara has, back inside it's John Kelly. Again, Sale make the tackle, referee playing advantage. Munster will try and take it. Stringer, O'Gara, Halstead, Murphy, Payne, Dowling! Referee has a word with the touch judge. And it looks like we're going to the television match official. But my first instinct is that the try. First, first instinct, great try. Great finish by Dowling. He went low, didn't get stuck into the corner. The referee touch judge just making sure here. Oh, what about the control from Munster? Phase after phase. Let's see. Good try. The crowd will it over. It's there. It's there. A little bit scrappy again. Munster need to regain their shape, regain the control and composure that they've shown. Offside again, you have to say, from Sale O'Gara. Ball's going to pop up. And has done for Murphy. Maybe an opportunity, O'Callaghan is going screaming, Murphy might not need him, Robinson, no, it's a try, oh yes, what about that, they stood off and stood off and he went home, well, I just don't know what you can say about that, an individual try, a slight little block down at the start at all, Barry Murphy first to react, all the time running with the ball in two hands, looking to see where he can pass. O'Gara tries to put it in, Murphy reacts, he's onto it. But look, he's looking around, now he starts looking around. I want to pass, he gets Larache to move off him. Robinson can't get him. What a finish by Barry Murphy. Halstead, maybe the opportunity, maybe the opportunity. Kelly goes in, Stringer sees, what a stable one! here who could care where the sale defense was well it starts at the back line who attacked the ball so flat they were attacking the game line and the crowd go berserk but they got across the game line it looked like Sean Payne was going to score 
and Dave Wallace, open side, first man there, picks it up, and not a man inside. This is just amazing. O'Gara, Halstead, Munster, determined to finish this game in the ascendancy. O'Gara, a little kick through. And it rolls into touch. Referee says that's it. They have done it again. We've lived it and we've loved it with Munster. And they've delivered scenes of uncombined joy. This is a very big week for us, you know. Um, Every, every time we lose a game we get written off, uh, we got written off and sailed away and, and, and written off when we lost against Leinster a few weeks ago but um, I don't know what it is, the mental strength in the squad is just incredible and um, the work ethic and the, the I, I don't know, there's just, just a very good mental strength in our squad and, and, and the boys came through today, a very good sail team and, and you know we picked up a bonus point so we couldn't be happier. But it's just something that Munster seem to have. It's a unique thing. I mean, this great courage, just great passion. You can't really quite put your finger on it. What do you think it is about Munster? Oh, I think it's got to be a huge factor. It's got to be the crowd here, yeah. you know. Um, it's just really something special playing in front of it. Um, you know, it, it, you, you kind of forget sometimes you know, how much it, it does for you. Uh, and it's only in, in a big game like this um, that, that the crowd really come out in force and support us. And, uh, you know, it gives you an extra 10% out there. It was important that we uh, get off to a good start here. Um, you know, Sale would probably have been wondering what Thomas Park was all about and I think in the first half uh, we really went at it hammered, hammered and tongs and, uh, you know, it was a ferocious battle out there and, um, you know, that's what it's all about, you know, uh, big sides coming here, you know, and we turn them over and uh, it, it just gives a great feeling to the, the whole province. Well, there's confirmation. Munster top the table and secure that home quarter-final spot. Sale in second must travel to Beeritz. Well, Brendan, David Wallace made reference to it there in the interview, the home and park factor. Philip San Andre said afterwards it was like facing 20 men. It really was an amazing atmosphere, wasn't it? There's a, a, a moment calm beforehand when the team had done their final huddle out on the pitch and they start walking in towards the, towards the tunnel to go in under the stand into the dressing room and, and the noise just builds and builds and builds and by the time they get to the touchline, it's just deafening and it's impossible not to be moved by that. It really is incredibly powerful. And we always get a laugh out of our English colleagues when they're over, be it with Gloucester a couple of years ago or with Sale now, and they just sit there shaking their heads saying, it's happening again. <laughs> you know?